House subcommittee is planning to grill the FDA commissioner about a recent decision on a common cold medicine. Yeah, the agency earlier this year finding that some of your favorite go-to medications don't really work, and now they want answers from the commissioner himself. Stephanie Haynes joining us live. Stephanie, what exactly are they learning that we need to know? Yeah, good morning. They have all the same questions we do. If they don't work, why have they been on the shelves for decades? And why have we been paying for them for so long when these companies are raking in $1.8 billion per year? That's according to Congresswoman Lisa McLean. She's a Republican from Michigan and the chair of the House Oversight Subcommittee. And she's the one who sent the letter to the FDA commissioner uh, demanding a staff level briefing to the subcommittee about this. Now recall back in September, that FDA advisory panel found that oral phenylephrine, that's the ingredient in most of your over-the-counter cold medication, like in Sudafed and some types of NyQuil's, does nothing to actually relieve congestion as advertised, though health workers say those meds can sometimes relieve other symptoms like sore throats. This ingredient, here's the thing, has reportedly been under scrutiny by researchers for years now. And in her letter, Congresswoman McLean writes in part, quote, it is concerning that the FDA relied upon outdated and insufficient evidence regarding phenylephrine's use as a decongestant for so many years, despite numerous appeals by the scientific community. Americans seeking OTC relief should have to worry, should not have to worry about whether they are wasting their hard earned money on ineffective drugs. So we spoke to a doctor about this and here's her take. I think what we saw is kind of a slow grinding of the wheels then between 2006 and 2016, when we really started to present the first bit of robust data to say, hey, phenylephrine may not be as efficacious as we thought it was. In other words, looking at new uh, and more available and modern research techniques, it may be that phenylephrine doesn't actually do what we say it's going to do. And back out here live, CVS has voluntarily removed those cold medications from the shelf so customers aren't confused. If you do need congestion relief, here's what you gotta do. You gotta go up to the pharmacy counter and ask the pharmacist for the stuff behind the counter because that stuff actually works. Uh, we also reached out to the FDA for comments but have not heard back. Adrian. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.